Alright, so hello everyone, and welcome to Dead Cells. Now this is a very much Dark Souls inspired Roguevania game, and you're asking, w w what is that? Well, it's a roguelike combined with Metroidvania elements, Castlevania, you know, Metroid, all that sort of thing. And we're going to be trying it out today. This game actually releases, I think, tomorrow or in two days or something like that. But yeah, you can obviously find it on Steam. And I have been having a lot of fun with it. I've actually just reset my game data just for this stream because I actually find it very fun. It is very difficult, but, well, you'll, you'll see what I mean about that. Anyway, let's start a new game and go in to Dead Cells and see what's actually going on. So, as you can see, we are a little bit of mush there. Yes, we're, we're a little bit of goop or whatever that is. And now we have constructed ourselves into a humanoid form. And as you can see, you can obviously jump. You can use your main weapon, which is a sword. And hello, hello, Darth. Hello, Darth. And we are going to be opening doors. Do I want to open the door in a, in a polite fashion? Or do I want to smash it open? I think we want to smash it open, don't we? Yes. Also, by the way, I should let you know that when you actually hit doors, enemies on the opposite side of the door, they will get stunned by the damage that you deal to the door. So that's pretty cool. Lost our head now, did we? Oh yes, we certainly did. Me? What? Who? Me? Yes, exactly. Well, nothing to say for yourself. Oh, well, yes, I see the problem. Yeah, you don't have a face, obviously. Uh, well, we don't have a face. I suppose you didn't think to find yourself back here. But surely you must have noticed. You can no longer die. I still don't understand. It was like this with the others for a while. And he's like, what? Come on now. What? What is that? Hello, hello, Bent7793. Yeah. And I think, actually, I'm going to just change the sounds real quick. I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. I think it's a little bit loud, perhaps. I don't know. Let me know, by the way, if the sound is too low or too loud and everything, and I'll, I'll change it. Anyway, as at the start of every roguelike, roguelite sort of game, you get a choice between certain items and things that you want to take into the run. And we have a choice between a beginner's bow, which I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not particularly good with it, but I'm going to take it anyway because I don't really get on very well with the shield. I think I'm pretty bad with the shield. Oh yeah, so obviously because this is randomized for, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit randomized. It's very intelligently randomized. We currently have a door here and we need a thousand gold to open it. So it's a bit unfortunate that we'll obviously be unable to open it at the moment. But it's okay because we have some enemies here and we're going to be dealing some damage to them if we can. There we go. Yes. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to pick that up. That is a rare blueprint, an ice bow. Yeah, so did I mention you can actually pick up blueprints and these blueprints can be used to craft certain things and you need to be able to have, well, basically cells. So you pick up dead cells or, uh, well, should I say cells from enemies and then at the point of you know going to the the shop or whoever it may be then you obviously are oh i rolled into that didn't i yes i rolled into that that's absolutely terrible all right so yeah anyway so yeah you can pick up those cells from enemies and those cells are basically the currency in the game apart from gold of course and obviously you can pick up various pieces of gold here and those pieces of gold can be used to unlock gates and things like that if i could actually jump that would be great there you go okay can i actually jump up here Ooh, yes i can okay so there are you know a variety of different paths to take and there's a cell as you can see i picked up three cells already hello 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 everyone joining the stream right now, thank you. And, oh, uh, uh, yeah, let, let me just try and avoid this. Yep, yeah, come on, take him, there we go. Excellent, okay, oh, no, let's try and avoid that, thank you very much. Okay, so this is obviously another, you know, another item that you can pick up and you can use it. So I'm going to exchange the beginner's bow for the frost blast, I personally feel like frost blast is a lot better but obviously it really depends on what kinds of enemies you're fighting. And there are some really, really dastardly enemies ahead. So, you know, we're going to see what we can do about that. Anyway, let's see if we can progress a little bit. Oh, and yeah, you can also find these things. I'm actually unsure what this does, but you can tickle it. 
Yeah, you can tickle it. So, look at that. I'm tickling it. I'm tickling it. Yes, yes, it likes that. It likes that. Anyway, let's go down. And what is that? Oh, yeah, that's also something. You can rub this. You can rub it. Yes, rub it. <laughs> I don't even know what that does. I have no idea. But there you go. Anyway, let's see. Ah, yeah. Now, this is a teleporter. So, yeah. You can unlock additional teleporters throughout the levels. Uh, well, technically just this level. And then you can use that teleporter to teleport back to this teleporter and so on and so forth. It's basically a bit of a shortcut. So, that's quite nice. Ah, now I can pay a thousand gold to get through this door. I think I'm going to do it just for the sake of, you know, showing you all what's actually going on there. So, I'm going to open that. As you can see, it's an ice grenade. And I personally feel like this is really one of the more powerful sort of side weapons. And it's an active skill. You can use it with one of the right triggers. Well, right trigger or left trigger. And yeah, they do strongly recommend a controller for the game. So yeah, just bear that in mind. And uh, uh, Yep, there you go. So I did not do that too well, did I? No, I didn't do that too well. It's got five seconds cooldown, but you can use it as many times as you like, which is always very nice. And I fell down there. Isn't that fantastic? Great. Good work. Ah, and there's another teleporter, as I said. Ah, and here's a shop. And now this is exactly the reason why you may not want to spend gold. And the music has actually changed now, which is also nice. But as you can see, you can talk to the... Everything is for sale. Ah, fantastic. So yeah, you can get a bear trap. You can get throwing knives. I personally feel like the throwing knives are not that good. The twin daggers, however... The twin daggers are absolutely insane. Anything to do with the twin daggers, they're really, really good. Anyway, Moonstone, uh, yeah, I can't afford anything, obviously, so we're just going to be moving on and hopefully not getting hit. There we go, yes, frozen grenades. The frozen grenades are fantastic. Yeah, so these green zombie guys, what they'll do is they'll sort of like charge up. Ooh, what is that? Ah, Blood Sword Blueprint. Very nice. Anyway, they'll sort of charge up like a jumping attack, and it's kind of, I, as far as I'm aware, it's unblockable unless you are very, very good with the shield. I'm not. But, yeah, you can obviously also dodge it slightly, but it's it's pretty difficult to do that anyway. Okay, so what is that? That is a greed shield. Blocks, attacks, and shakes out any loose gold from your enemy's teeth once we're enemy. Uh, yes, this is, well, technically, this is the early access build that will be available when the game releases in a day or two. And it is about 40 to 50% complete already. And uh, it is early access, so do bear that in mind. But the game, as you can no doubt see, is already very, very polished. I have not run into any obstacles whatsoever. It is very, very smooth and fluid. Okay, so this is a scroll of power. And the scroll of power is used to obviously upgrade your skills and make you more powerful. So I'm actually a bit partial to leveling up health because the health is really, really good because it just gives you so much survivability. As you can see, look at my health bar. It just increased like nothing else. So yeah, it's really large and I very much like large, big things. Yes. <laughs> All right, so I actually haven't even used my freeze blast yet, so I think I'm probably going to use that on the archer here. If I, there we go. There you go. So as you can see, you can also cast spells and things like that. So yeah, that's pretty nice. So ah, there's some gold down here. There we are. Nice. And there's another teleporter too, if I so desire. You can use these chains to climb up and down and everything as well. So that's. That's always good. I like that. Ah, okay. So there's the Promenade of the Condemned. That's the next level. And I'm not going to go there just yet because I kind of want to make sure that I haven't missed any. Aha! Yeah, you don't want to miss anything. And I have discovered some treasure, as you can see. So we're going to be opening this up. This is a large, big thing as well. So I like that. All right. So, ah, okay. So this is a flashbang. So it's, it's basically another grenade that you can use. And it stuns enemies for three seconds, which is... I would say pretty useful. And now we have the opportunity to leave. Ah, hello. More story. You again. Interesting. I am the collector and I'm about the closest thing to company you will get down here. In exchange for the cells you pillage from your foes, I can provide you with a few useful items. So this is the guy that you buy basically items that the blueprints that you've picked up have unlocked. 
So, yeah, yeah, there you go, as you can see here. If you uncover any blueprints, I may be able to provide you with some more experimental items. So there you go, we have the blood sword and the frost bow, or ice bow, and yeah, that's the thing. This is the reason why I have kind of likened this, and I think a number of other people have also likened it, to Dark Souls, because... It has flasks, basically. It does have flasks, and the combat system is very much Dark Souls-esque as well. So, that's that's pretty cool. Anyway, there's a healing potion, and you can use this at any time. There's only one charge in the level 1 version, but you can, as you can see, improve them as time goes on. You can get up to 4 charges, and they, I think, heal you for about 80%, maybe even more of your HP. Obviously, this is all open to change, because it is early access, so you never know. So there you go, I've invested five cells into the healing potion, and we can use this at any point, which is very nice. And we do have gold recovery here as well, so you can serve 25% of your gold when you die. It's probably a good idea to go for that, but I think I'm actually going to go for the blood sword right now, because maybe I'll be able to use it. I'm actually unsure about this, I think I unlocked the blood sword when I already had a really good weapon in a previous run, and it was kind of wasted, so... Let's actually see what just happens here. New weapon unlocked, okay. And then I can also invest cells to improve the random starter shield and the random starter bow. So that's also nice, but obviously there are many, many more things that you can get and unlock. Everything you buy here is yours forever, not even death can take it from you. Simply put, if you want more power, then bring me more cells. Now, prisoner, out of my sight. Your presence grows tiring. Yes, it does. Okay, so there you go. There is the blood sword. I'm going to be picking that up instead of my rusty sword. The rusty sword actually deals exactly the same amount of damage, which is uh, yeah, a bit sad. But it does cause bleeding and enemies explode upon death for 28 damage as well. So that's also nice. So we're just going to... Okay, yeah. And it has a little bit of a different moveset as well. That's why I really liked a twin dagger set that I picked up because it threw knives at the enemy and you could actually kill ranged opponents just from using your melee attack which is really cool. Anyway, maybe we'll be able to get that at some point. So this is a flask. This basically restores your entire health and restores your flask itself. So you can then use it when you're out and about adventuring and doing all the wonderful things like getting your face eaten off by all kinds of wonderful magical zombie things, yes. So we can now move on outside. Now this is usually the level where I might die because it's quite long. And I did actually encounter a boss at the end of this. And the boss basically killed me in one hit because I was really low. But yeah, the point is is that it's good. Yeah, there's also spikes. Very spiky things. So I don't, I'm not particularly happy with that. But you never know. Maybe I'll be able to surprise myself and you. Okay, so I need to be a bit careful here. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, not bad. Not bad. Okay, so we have a teleporter. Okay, so I don't know where to go. There's so many different pathways you can take. And obviously it's all pretty much randomized, so you can basically do anything you like and you, you will never see the same thing again. I think you might see, you know, similar tile sets and stuff, but you won't see the exact same level design. And we're having some problems. Okay, so let's be... Ah, oh, yep. Oh, well, never mind. That's okay. I, I do gain HP back from, you know, killing a couple of things, but it's not, it's kind of minor. It's kind of minor. So let's go down here. Oh yeah, and this is kind of similar to Rogue Legacy. So if you're, you know, a big fan of roguelikes in general, then no doubt you've played Rogue Legacy, and this is very much similar to that. I remember the trap rooms in that, and I'm not very good at avoiding these things, so don't be surprised if I get splatted. Oh, there we go. Okay, not bad. And there's a teleporter down here, so it makes it a little bit easier to get back. Oh yeah, and there's also a stomp. You can actually jump and then stomp. So that's that's actually pretty cool. Anyway, there seems to be big treasure here. Very nice, okay. I was not anticipating that. Okay, so... Oh, flashbang number three. Okay, so... Oh, okay, so that's a little bit better than flashbang two, I guess. So we're going to be using that. And what does that do? It just does a little bit more damage, I suppose. Yeah. A little bit more damage. And we can use the teleporter. So this is the first time I'm using the teleporter, so I guess that's nice. We get to see what that's all about. So there you go. I'm now back up here. Pretty nice and easy. Very, very smooth. 
Ah, another scroll of power. Fantastic. Okay, so this is where things start to get a little bit kind of difficult because obviously you're going to be deciding to do various things like do you want to increase your weapon damage or do you want to increase your health to you know survive longer and i actually think i'm going to go for health again i'm going to be pretty safe here because you know me I'm, I'm probably going to jump on some spikes get impaled and then just be like oh i'm just going to brush that off because i have a lot more hp now so yeah that's basically my thought on it anyway maybe that's wrong who knows uh, uh, uh. Yep, yep, come on now. Okay, yeah, there we are. Yes, yeah, let's just stun that and take that out. And the bats are very annoying. If you don't have a ranged attack in any respect, then obviously they're going to be quite annoying to do, to deal with. But uh, for the most part, I think it's okay. Oh, yeah, and there's also this statistic or kind of ability or skill that some of the enemies have. And it's basically a shield which prevents them from taking any damage. So I'm not entirely sure what causes it at the moment, but, oh, that's an elite. Oh my. That is an elite. Okay, I actually came across an elite a lot later in my other, my other few runs, so uh, not particularly happy about fighting that. But you, uh, apparently this blood sword does actually have a damage over time effect, so that's quite nice. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to climb up here. And I'm going to take out... Uh, okay, yeah. So those white guys right there, the, the white crystal guys, they are sort of teleportation units. So I need to be a little bit careful about that. I'm going to use my flashbang to stun them. There we go. I'm just going to spam my grenades because, you know, <laughs> that's skillful. Uh, yeah, okay. So let's see what we can do here against this. This is an elite phaser. So as you can see, it actually deals pretty, pretty good damage. I'm going to try and take this guy out first because he's being annoying. Okay, so I can actually stun. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I can dodge as well. Just bear that. Oh my, okay. Well, yeah, this is what I mean by a phaser. What it does is it will teleport to you and try to kill you. So I'm going to try and stun it. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, and I'm going to need to run. Okay, run down here, please. Run down there. Okay, it's teleporting. It's teleporting after me. It is. It is teleporting after me. Run! Run, person! Ah, oh, and then we die. And then we died. Yes. There you go. So, that is a run in Dead Cells. <laughs> oh, yeah. I should not have taken on the Elite, should I? Should not have taken on the Elite. But, this does give an opportunity for us to take a look at some of the changes that have gone on. And as you can see, the NPCs do actually react to you dying, obviously. But, yeah. Back already? Well, it doesn't seem to be going all that well for you. Yeah. <laughs> Have you noticed how everything seems a little different each time? Yeah, kind of. Well, I haven't really, not yet. One could think the island is alive. I wonder if... What do you make of all this? Oh, I'm not entirely sure what I make of all this. Can you gain the abilities of dead elites? Oh, I'd love to be able to, but I don't know. I, I don't think so. I haven't actually killed an elite, so I have no idea. But I would assume that most of the abilities you can gain are in item form. So, there is that. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to take a shield this time. I I never use them, really, so I don't really see a necessity to go for it, but... Ah, well, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. I'm just going to try and bait these guys out. Yeah, but as you can see, I actually lost seven of my cells, which is really, really quite sad. Because, obviously, I would have liked to have spent that. Oh, and there's a secret as well. There are secrets, you know, Dark Souls-esque secrets, that where you, you know, hit a wall or hit something, and then you get a little bit of extra gold. There we go. Uh, we can take that. There we go. Okay, so do I have enough? Ah, uh, I was thinking to myself, maybe I have enough gold to buy something awesome here. But no, it seems like I don't. Assault shield. Electric whip. Now that sounds awesome. But it is only 88 damage. So we do lose a lot of damage. But... Hmm. It seems like they might... It might stun them. I don't know. It might stun them, perhaps. Maybe that would be nice. Okay, I'm just going to... Sorry, merchant. I'm just going to hit your door. There we go. Okay, so is there anything up here? Well, there's another thing that I can tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Yeah. Ah, very nice. Okay, so we do have another scroll of power here. And I think... Yeah, we are back to basically square one. So... Should I increase my weapon damage this time? See, that's the thing. Hilariously enough, if I had actually improved my weapon damage beforehand, just before fighting that elite, I probably would have killed it before it even 
you know, did too much damage to me. So, uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta weigh things up quite well. Okay, so there we go. Take that, and there's another little bit of gold up here. Okay, I got it. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Also, oh, twin daggers over there. So yeah. Also, the secrets can be seen by small sort of rune things in the wall. So there's there's that. Would the skill upgrade do a lot? Ah, well, that's the thing. I've never taken that. I think the skill thing would most likely be to do with the trigger buttons, as far as I'm aware. So that would basically make it so that it's much more likely you'll be able to use more grenades. Which is actually a good thing, I guess. I mean, I think using more grenades is always a nice idea. Hello, Jimbos. Hello, Jimbos. Welcome to the stream. Hmm, okay. How do I get around there? I would very much like to get around there. Maybe I can go this way. See, now that's the thing. Some of the time you'll be unable to go to the places that you very much want to go to. Because obviously this is Roguevania. This is, you know, very much a backtracking sort of open world experience. So you're going to have a lot of times when you see something that you really want. And you will be unable to actually go for it. So it's it's kind of, kind of a shame. But... That's it. Okay, yeah. Uh, I can't get anything from the merchant yet, so I'm sad. Okay, well. Oh, wow. Two of these guys. Okay. Alright, not bad. Okay, so we're taking a little bit of damage so far, but I think it's. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. We do have another teleporter. A uh, thousand? No, I'm not going to be taking that. Thank you very much. I'd love to be able to earn about 1,800 gold because the next time we actually get to a merchant, then we might be able to purchase some really, really awesome weapons or something like that. Or maybe we don't need to. Ah, oh, throwing knife. Ah, oh, yeah. Now, let me tell you about throwing knives. This is not just a thing that I am terrible with in other games, but literally I'm really, really bad in this game as well with throwing weapons. Don't know why, but just happens. It really, really just happens. Maybe it's just because it doesn't have the kind of damage I like, but yeah, anyway. So, increase active skill damage and reduce their cooldown timer. So there are some scrolls that will be, you know, randomly spawned and they just improve whatever. So you can't actually choose you know, so it's scroll of power, you know, scroll of power esque. So this thing will just improve your skills and the, the you know, cooldown reduction. So as you can see there, the, the skills, in other words, the grenades get a little bit improved. All right. Oh, that's not good. Okay. So I literally just fell all the way to the ground and now I'm being absolutely murdered. No, oh, no. It seems like I might be okay a little bit here. Okay. So if I can go up here and what is that? What is that over there? I don't think I've ever come across that just yet. What is this? Oh, oh, okay, so it's just a little bit of a door opening. Oh yeah, by the way, can any of you see this secret right next to me here? Ah, well, now that I've given it away, it's right next to me. Yes, great, isn't it? Okay, so <laughs> let's just hit this, and there you go, there's the secret. So it's a Malachite, that's gonna give me 250 gold. I have enough for maybe a really awesome weapon now, so hopefully we're going to, what? What was this door for? Oh, we could just go downwards. Oh, okay, never mind. I actually thought to myself that I had literally just gone into a dead end. Okay, so... Weapon, 109 damage per second, causes bleeding. Okay, well, obviously we're going to take that instead of the rusty sword. Oh, yeah. Now, here's an, a, a new enemy here. So this, this enemy, obviously, as you can see, has a shield, charges at the, you know, at the player character and tries to kill it, obviously. So, gotta have to be a bit careful about that, and oh yeah, I actually really like the damage over time effects. Oh yeah, look at that. You can actually just hit them, and then they can and then you can run away, and you don't have to actually take any damage. Yeah, we have 12 dead cells. It would be quite nice to obviously find the person that we can spend those at. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay, so that is the exit. Ah, uh, see, that's the thing. Can I... Where, where's the map? Can I... Oh, there we go. There's the map. Okay, so... Let's see here. Okay, so the twin daggers are all the way up there. Obviously, I'm unable to get them. But there is a merchant. I didn't even take a look at the items that the merchant was selling. Ah! Okay, let's just screw it. Whatever. Let's just... Let's just go. And we can make our way on. Hopefully, we're going to be getting... Ah, uh, well, yeah, th obviously this guy is the guy that you trade dead cells, or well, cells with. Ah, oh, I keep saying dead cells for some reason, but there you go. So, let's talk to him, and I have 12. It's not really enough, is it? Okay, I guess I'm going to get gold recovery this time. I think it, I think it would probably be decent to go for, so let's go with that. I'd actually like to probably try and get 40% of my gold, you know actually preserved, but... Hmm, I'm, un I'm not sure at the moment. Maybe I should? Uh, yeah, you can filter by category as well, by the way, if you so desire. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Why not? Let's just spend our cells. Okay, so... Hmm... Yeah, obviously I do have the flask, so... Ah, uh, yeah, I'm, go I'm just going to do that. I'm going to try and find a merchant as quickly as I can. And then we can spend our gold, and that's going to be quite nice, I think, because... I mean, we, we do have a pretty decent weapon, so I don't know whether we really need one. But, yeah, now we're in the death zone once again. The, the place which I usually die in, but obviously you already know that. So, oh! Uh, no, yep. Yeah, ah, phew. Okay, that was, that was close. I actually opened the door like a gentleman that time. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Yeah, those guys are quite annoying because they have a little bit more HP than normal. And obviously they're going to be a little bit more difficult to deal with. Okay, come, come on, bats. Really? There we go. Okay. Whew. okay. Yes, throwing daggers. I found a use for them. Very nice. Oh, and I found a secret. Oh, well, there you go. Not bad. Okay, so... Oh, this is... <laughs> what? The roguelike RNG gods are completely... Ah, uh, they're completely screwing with me right now. I have no skills, but yet they're giving me everything to make this better and better and better. As you can see, I, I have now level 3 on this. That is hilarious. Okay. Uh, right. Great. Okay, well, let's just hope that we can find a merchant. We do have another chest here, so hopefully it's going to give me something nice. Gave me a shield. Blocks attacks and stuns the attacker. Well, I kind of like the throwing knives right now, because they can deal with the bats pretty nicely, so... Ah, uh, okay, well, yeah, we're just going to use the teleport. Okay, so we can just go through here, and... Uh, okay. Oh! Spikes. Yeah, the spikes tend to blend in a little bit, so they're a little bit insidious when it comes to that. Need to be a bit careful. There we go. Little bit of concentration required, I suppose, for that. Okay, so teleport and another one of these guys. Should I go down? I think I'm actually going to go down into the underground areas here. I think they are more likely to have something reasonably good. So, ah, what is, uh, oh no, that's the Frost Blast thing, isn't it? I'm not going to spend 1350 on that, thank you very much. I am just going to go up to the teleport thing, there we go. Oh, there we go. I actually dealt with it with my melee weapon for once, oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so yeah, you can actually use the throwing knives and they're actually pretty decent, as you can see. They're actually pretty decent with their, you know, damage over time effects, but I prefer the sword, obviously. Ah, now what is this? Ah, horizontal turrets. I have no idea what that does, but I suppose we're going to find out. Ow. That was not very nice. Alright, I now, see, that's the thing. I can heal now, if I so desire, by using the... Uh, the, uh, what is it now? The flask thing? And, yeah. 
maybe maybe we won't want to do that. Oh, look at that. It's auto-targeting. That's actually really nice. Okay, so I'm just going to move away from this guy as best I can. going to try and dodge him. Yeah, nice. All right. Oh, yeah. So do bear in mind that if anything is up with the stream, then that's mainly due to me not knowing anything about it. So if there's anything that's currently going on that is kind of a bit weird, then do bear in mind that I've probably messed something up as I've mainly just been concentrating on, you know, getting the bit rate absolutely, you know, good and everything like that. So, you know, if there's anything else up, then I'm, I'm, I'm terribly sorry for that. But yeah, that's just how it is. Okay, so we can go in here. And, oh no, shielded enemies. I hate these. Very much hate these. Okay. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna just try and avoid this guy, actually. Oh no, another. Oh, there's another elite. Okay, I'm going to just avoid this. There we go. Go up. Yep, yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, so hopefully he can't follow me over here. What is this? Is this a boss? I hope it... Oh, okay. Well, if it is a boss, then I guess you all are going to see an amazing... I, I was going to call it a fight, but I don't think so somehow. I don't think it's really a fight. It's more of a, a slaughter because I'm going to get absolutely murdered. Oh, no. No, okay. Apparently, it's not. It might be a boss, actually. I think it probably is. And <laughs> then I then I fell and died and got stunned. Oh, I didn't die. But Oh, yep. It is a boss. Okay, it's an elite. Oh, and it's an archer. Oh, okay. Well, that's... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I was gonna say that's okay, but it's actually not. As you can see. Okay. Well. Okay, I, <laughs> I... I don't know whether I can do it. I don't know whether I can do it. I don't have enough... Ooh, okay. Okay, he's gone enraged now, it seems. I don't know whether I have enough. I don't know whether I have enough of anything to be able to do it. We might be able to. And we did it. We did it. Mm, very nice. Okay, well, there you go. Vile rune. This rumor, rune? Rumor? Yeah, this rumor. There we go. This rumor permanently gives you the ability to grow climbable vines. Right. Well, that's awesome. There you go. That is actually very nice. So, <laughs> I have no idea what that is going to be like, but okay. So how do I how do I use that? How do I use that ability? Ah. So there you go. There you go. So they uh, those tickle things, those tickle things that I was tickling earlier, they can be used to access additional areas now. Which is exactly what I mean with, you know, Roguevania sort of style things. So that's very, very cool. Aha. Okay, so, oh, no, no. No, leave me alone, please. I do not want to buy anything from you, please. Thank you very much. Oh, no. Knowing me, I'm probably going to get killed by this thing now. Okay, well, at the very least, I have beaten a boss. Or, shall we say, an elite. So... Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Okay, so where should I go now? Oh, there's a scroll of power right there. I missed that. Okay, let's go back and get that scroll of power. It's right down here. I... Uh, am I gonna die? I'm probably gonna die, aren't I? Okay, let's just, let's just try and dot him up. There we go. Dot him up as much as I can. There we go. Okay, so what's that? Oh, a phaser. All right. Are we in Star Trek now? We might. Okay, so scroll of power. Okay, so what am I going to do here? Am I going to do damage or am I going to do health? I've already done health once, but I'm really, really low in HP, so... I don't know, really. I think... Uh, I think I'll just go for weapon damage. I don't know. I think it's probably just going to end in my demise anyway. So I don't think it... Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I don't think it's going to matter if I take this extra health. And then I get killed instantly by one of the easiest enemies. Doesn't that always happen? Every single time. Great, great, very good. Dead Man's Purse. This bag contains some of the gold. Oh, very nice. Thank you very much. So there you go. We got we recovered 941. I don't even want to know how much I had beforehand. Uh, okay, so yeah. We're now being told about the collectibles. 
sort of system in the game. This is a strange place. This is going to be very pretty when it's done. It's your doing this, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Ah, yes, of course, you're working on it. Like all the rest, I guess. There we go. So, yeah, as you can see, all of the blueprints and various things that we've unlocked will be featured in these, you know, in these jars here and things like that. So, I yeah, I don't really want the bow. I really do not want the bow, so I'm just going to take the, the shield, I guess. And there's this guy, and this guy is going to blatantly tell you that it's early access because he's going to say, I know what you've done. Secrets. I'm noting it down in my little book. That's my job. You've been killing things, I see. And game stats coming soon. So, yeah, there you go. Okay, I, oh yeah, I'm, I'm forgetting now that I don't have the blood sword any further, so I do, do have to actually do a little bit more, put in some more work. But now we can get to places which we couldn't before, which is exactly, you know, what I'm talking about with the uh, Roguevania thing. Anyway, yeah, bow and infinite arrows of rare blueprint. Wow, very nice. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with that then, I guess. Now, I'd very much like to find one of those tickle spots because I'd like to see where they actually go. And maybe we'll be able to do that. Allows you to charge forward while blocking. Ooh, nice. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay, it does a little bit of damage. Not that much. Okay, so here's a secret in here. Oh, wait. Is there something... Is there something back up there? Oh, I don't know. Well, it's too late now. And there's a scroll of power. Can that guy throw... Yep. Okay, I thought so. Oh, wow. Did we just kill them instantly? No, we didn't. Okay. Magnetic grenade as well. Wow, we're getting huge amounts of blueprints right now. All right. And a carrot. Don't need a carrot right now. I haven't been hit, actually, which is kind of amusing. I don't know why that is, but anyway. Let's see. Okay, this time I'm going to take a little bit of a different tact. And we're going to go for more weapon damage immediately. And then we're going to see what we can do about gaining some more survivability through something else. I don't know, maybe maybe just using our shield a little bit better. Hello, Eternal Elysian. Hello, welcome to the stream once again. Let's see, is there anything else here? There's a teleport point. I'd like a merchant. I would very much like a merchant right now. Oh, and there's another secret in here. A carrot. We're finding Turkey, Turkey in the walls, Castlevania-esque style, yeah. Wasn't it turkey? Or chicken? I think it was chicken or turkey or something like that that you could find in the walls. Okay, so, anything else? No, okay, we, well, th these guys are probably the easiest ones. I think the green zombies are a little bit more difficult. And these guys are obviously charging shield enemies that are, you know, immune to damage from the front, because that's pleasant. Uh, okay, so there's that. All right, so I don't think... Have I... No, I haven't gone everywhere, and I think I've missed the merchant, so... Is there a teleportation that I can actually use a little bit? Yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. Okay, so let's go down here. I think the merchant is down here. Yes, he is. Oh, fantastic. All right, so there's the twin daggers that I was talking about. As you can see, the damage is insane. So, as you can see, we have, what is it, 236, and then in brackets 347 critical, and we are currently at 120 damage, so you can, you know, assume that that is going to be amazing. Also, the golden amulet is really nice too, because that obviously gives you plus one strength, which does, you know, means you do even more damage, which is always nice. So we're just going to take the twin daggers here. Oh, we are actually doing 172 damage, obviously, because we have the strength stat from the scroll of power so i suppose that's that's good all right well we can now head onward and oh yeah by the way the twin daggers have some really really cool animations along with them too so we're going to be seeing how much damage they do very very soon and i should have just teleported shouldn't i yes i should have just teleported oh well yeah that's something i'm gonna forget many times Oh, and there's this guy. Oh, yes, I know. Well, 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 you're back. Yeah, and I don't have any dead cell. Well, any cells. <laughs> dead cells. I always say that. Okay, so there's the bow and infinite arrows. Unlimited ammo with that. I find it hard to believe that you can actually use this 
adequately because obviously you do have those teleportation guys that are consistently going to be running after you and doing you know all they can to stay within melee combat with you so it's you know, it's going to be pretty difficult i'm going to invest this all in gold recovery i personally feel like having a lot of gold is really really useful and we, i don't need that now yeah thank you very much i don't need that now that's it's kind of disappointing anyway I'd, i actually would have preferred to have taken a lot of damage just so that i could use that Ah oh, well, anyway, as you can see, we're gonna just absolutely destroy the- yes, as you can see, they die very, very quickly. Okay, let's see how they die against this. Oh-ho, yeah, okay, so that was one hit right there. Well, two, technically. Yeah, so this is obviously a lot easier than using the other sort- what- what is- what is down here? There must be something down here. Am I missing something? No, apparently not. Apparently it's just a dead end. Alright. Now, any elites that we come up against, by the way, they're most likely going to... Are you serious? Really? Come on. Come on, come on bat. Uh, okay, so... Yeah. That is one of the problems about these... About these bats. Okay, I'm gonna actually heal. I know. It's a real waste. An absolute real waste. But these bats are very, very annoying, apparently, for the twin daggers to deal with. Uh, you pick up cells from enemies. I think it's random for the most part. I don't think you can choose when they when they drop or anything, but for the most part, I think they drop. They, they drop quite often, actually. I've been able to acquire, I think, about 27 cells before dying before. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to do that this time. Okay, I need to be a bit careful here. Okay, so, yeah, there we go. Yeah, these guys have shields in the area. I, I think it's probably because of that dummy over there. That, uh, that, what is it, attacking melee combat dummy thing? So, maybe what I could do is try and... Ah, it doesn't even matter, to be honest, is it? I, I don't really need to go over there, so... I'm probably just going to avoid that for now. Oh, really? Come on, Spikes. Stay away from me, please. That's not very nice. Uh, okay. No, yeah, okay. Oh, well, we got by that. Okay, what's going on here? Have I... Okay, wait a minute. Okay, that... Okay, so... something... Okay, something really weird happened there. I have no idea what happened. I think something happened. I, I just couldn't... Uh, I think my game minimized or something like that. Anyway, we now have... Some very good weapons. And we should be able to... What is that? Oh, there's a scroll of power. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Do I want to do that? I have good daggers right now, and I do need some more HP, so I suppose it would be a good idea. Hmm. Uh, yeah, this is a roguelike, sort of Metroidvania-style game where you have one life. If you die, then you die, but obviously, as you go, you can pick up additional things, and, uh, well, items and, and all kinds of very useful things, and you can... Oh, that was not a scroll of power, that was just improving my skills. Great. Yeah, and you eventually get more powerful as time goes on. So it's it's pretty cool in that respect. I actually like these games quite a bit. I'm just not very good at them, so... Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be careful here. Okay, come on, stun him. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to try and do is... Yeah, so that target dummy right there, that is the thing that is providing the shield to the nearby enemies. So, at least I've worked that out now, because I actually I did I actually didn't know that before, so that's nice. Anyway, let's see. Right, okay. I kill that, and oh no, he's after me. Well he was, not anymore. Okay, so I can open that. Oh no. Okay. So that is not a good timing for me, or is it? It's actually not bad. Ooh, we made it. Alright, so there's another teleporter there. Please give me... Okay, thank you. Ah. Ah, okay. I can sort of breathe a little bit easier now. As we're going to be gaining some health. Oh. What's that? Oh, it's a... Wait a minute. Did I just... Ah. I think I was meant to get on that. I think it was an elevator of some sort. Yeah, I think so. 
Okay, so is there anything over here? No. And there we go. Okay, so I have to roll? Yep, there we go. I have to roll past that. Ah, oh, okay. I, I wait. I think I think these things are not particularly good. Yeah, they're okay. They're okay, but I would not pay two thousand three hundred and fifty gold for a throwing knife. Certainly not. Okay, so I, I suppose I could just head upstairs now again. Well, almost died. Almost died for that extremely useless area, but <laughs> that's fine, I guess. Ah. Uh, Okay, kill this. Kill it. Kill it. Ah, there we go. I do not want to get charged by one of those green zombie things. Another teleporter. I, so that's the thing. There's always these underground areas which reminds me of Terraria, hilariously enough, because there's always those little cave systems where you can go down into and then you find all these kinds of amazing goodies and I'm kind of thinking that they're oh no oh they got the shield just as I was attacking okay there we go I pulled him away wow that was huh, that was close okay he's got the shield now and whoa that damage that damage okay well I found a secret but that's I'm okay I think I should probably get out of here actually I think I should probably get out of there for a second because <laughs> that area, that area, okay. Let's be a little bit more careful here. And I almost died. And I did die. Great. That was, <laughs> that was fantastic. Oh, did you see that? I dodged, or I didn't dodge actually. I did get hit by the green zombie. And then I jumped to the right because I was like, okay, let me get away from him a little bit. And then I got killed by the little pink sphere ball thing. Yeah. Yeah. That that happens. That happens. That's very much me, isn't it? Ah. Uh, all right. Well, I think that is probably going to be it for this stream and I'm I'm getting more used to doing lengthier streams, so that's that's good. And yeah. You're probably going to see me doing a little bit longer streams as time goes on. Anyway, thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. And do be sure to hit that follow button so you know when I go live next. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.